Hey, 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 what's up, what's up? My name is Chico, and this is uneffing believable. I cannot believe it even upon seeing it. In my last video, I talked about, again, my assault rifle without stalker dilemma. And because I'm a hard-headed SOB, I still continue to use quick draw, dead silence, or Citra Pro. No, no stalker. ACR with red dot sight and no suppressor in public matches because I wanna nail down exactly how the pros do it and I'm getting more frustrated so in one match I talked to my friend about how frustrating it is that I can't get the kills that I know I can get when using a submachine gun or an assault rifle with the stalker perk this was the night after I made my last video and we found it funny because I was also complaining to him months ago that I cannot get an MOAB because of the sudden change in the ADS movement speed when you get Stalker as part of the specialist bonus. And now it seems I cannot live without Stalker. <laughs> we were in the middle of a domination match in Sea town when he suddenly suggested that I bump up my sensitivity by two levels like right now. Because he said, having stalker is simply having a higher sensitivity. And although my logic did not understand, I said alright let's do it, right in the middle of an average game. And guess what, I turned my game around. I think I had 50 plus kills with several doubles and maybe a triple. What the F? My good games continued for the rest of the night. Another friend was also witness to this, maybe it was just a fluke. Although, 5 games straight don't sound like a fluke to me. But I do not understand why this is so. Team Mart gave this tip. Bump your sensitivity as high as you can without ruining your aim. Azarek also suggested a higher sensitivity is better. Even Hutch said MW3 is a Twitch based game so he uses a higher sensitivity. But I never really paid any attention to it because I was alright with my 2 to 3 sensitivity. My aim was okay. I'm also a bit proud of my accuracy stat. And my sensitivity is the last thing I would ever consider changing because I don't want to F up my aim. Maybe because all the while I am aiming with my left stick together with the right stick. I mean, I strafe to put my sights on target. And maybe this just doesn't work in MW3 since they nerfed strafing without stalker on. I mean, that's my opinion. And with higher sensitivity, you can cover your whole screen with one flick of the right stick. Combine that with quick draw and you can pretty much get from target to target as fast as one would with a submachine gun or the stalker perk, even if you're strafing slower. You can even argue that targeting is faster. I don't know, I'm still not sure, but it seemed to work really well and I'm so happy. <laughs> Even in close quarters maps like Arcaden, I was able to play as aggressive as I normally would, which really isn't much, but still, like I said, it's un -effing believable. You know what else is awesome? The guy who suggested I bump my sensitivity was the same guy who taught me how to use submachine guns, ergo the stalker perk as well. If you watch my past videos, you would know that that is I shorties. So thanks again, man. Hopefully this is the answer to my biggest MW3 frustration. So now I'm using a 5 sensitivity from my previous 3 and I will continue to use this for further setting and practice. I will stick to it if it works and if so this is the last time you will hear me complain about not having stalker. If you are having problems when not using stalker try a higher sensitivity out and let me know if it works. I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels like this. I want to genuinely know what others think. Because like I said, I cannot believe this works. Is it so noob of me to not know this law? <laughs> it's like it's been there all along, staring at me. Following the change, I might have to switch up my MW3 custom classes. Because right now, 6 out of my 9 classes have assault rifles on. And they all have stalker. So more options and variety for me. 
I'll probably keep a couple of classes without quick draw on but with stalker you know assassin and hardline instead less than a month remaining in MW3 so I would probably use a quick draw class all the way to black ops 2's release to help me prepare one more thing this change made me wanna play more MW3 like like I'm more excited now to play even as we reach the end of the game's life cycle. I had actually planned to play less Call of Duty and more Metal Gear. I got the whole series now and plan to play through all of it and upload gameplay. But this change is kinda refreshing. I'll definitely still play the complete Metal Gear series. I'll just... I'll probably divide my playing time equally between the two, but who knows? Let's see. Anyway, that's all. Thank you for sharing this happy, happy turn of events with me. Please click that subscribe button for more videos and see ya!